Dear diary. God, come on, Veronica. What is your damage, Heather? That's easy. I just slide that wad over to my father, because he is like one of the top brokers in the state. If I got that money, I'd give it all to the homeless, every cent. You're beautiful. You a Heather? No, I'm a Veronica. This may seem like a really stupid question. And there are no stupid questions. You wanted to be a member of the most powerful clique in school. If I wasn't already the head of it, I'd want the same thing. Come on, Veronica. You used to have a sense of humor. God damn, will somebody tell me why I read these spy novels? Because you're an idiot. Oh, yeah, that's it. There are people I work with, and our job is being popular and shit. Dear diary, I want to kill. You know, I have a little prepared speech I tell my suitor when he wants more than I'd like to give him. Gee, Blank, I had a really nice... See the speeches from Malcolm X. I just want to get laid. You don't deserve my fucking speech. Killing Heather would be like offing the Wicked Witch of the West. Wait, East. West? God, you sound like a fucking psycho. It's on the hallway carpet. I got paid in puke. Lick it up, baby. Lick it up. Your worst enemy. Same difference. I can't believe this is my life. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to send my SAT scores to San Quentin instead of Stanford. <sighs> Veronica, what are you doing? I'm just so thrilled. <laughs> to finally have an example of the profound sensitivity of which a human animal is capable. That example is Heather Chandler. And while we do this, I think it's a good opportunity to share the feelings that this suicide has spurred in all of us. I heard it was really gnarly. She sucked down a bowl of multi-purpose deodorizing disinfectant and then smashed. Uh, not Heather and I used to go out, but she said I was boring. But now I realize I really wasn't boring. It's just that she was dissatisfied with her life. That's very good, Peter. <laughs> Are we going to be tested on this? You know, we, we like the same kind of clothes. Heather, how many networks did you we run like to? We like a lot of the same things. It's just not going to be the same here without her. What are you talking about? You hated her. She hated you. God damn. Will somebody tell me why I smoke these damn things? Because you're an idiot. Oh, yeah, that's it. Hi. I'm sorry. Technically, I did not kill Heather Chandler. But hey, who am I trying to kid, right? I just want my high school to be a nice place. Amen. Did that sound bitchy? Bitchy it. Did. Well, yesterday must have really been rough, huh? Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Okay, now I rarely listen to Neanderthals like Kurt Kelly, but he said that he and Ram had a nice little sword fight in your mouth last night. You know what I mean? Hmm? Ew! That son of a bitch! Hi, Kurt. Hi, this is Veronica Sawyer. Yeah, I didn't expect to be calling either. I guess my emotions took over. Yeah, I was wondering if you wanted all those things you've been saying to really happen. It's always been a fantasy of mine to have two guys at once. Well, I, I've made a circle on each side of the clearing. Ram, you come over here. Kurt. When you get to the circle, strip. What about you? I was kind of hoping you could rip my clothes off me, sport. 
Oh, good idea. So we killed them, didn't we? Of course. did not want them dead. <laughs> you did too. I did not. Did too. I did not. I did too. I did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did, did too. not. Did not. Sir, Shut died. up. I didn't know what the... Oh, come on, you Mary did. You just not... Lab, little lab, little I know lab. what you... Yes, I did <laughs> Young love. The son that had a limp wrist with a pulse. <laughs> I'm here today to fuse it back again through togetherness. I want everyone to clasp hands. We need to connect this cafeteria into one mighty circuit. Excuse me, please. Hey, look, here comes the TV crew. Lock your paws. Miss okay. Fleming, we're ready when you are. Hi there. Yeah, yeah. Hold it. Come on. Looks like Miss Flem's on another one of her crusades. The usual success, of course. All we want is to be treated like human beings, not to be experimented on like guinea pigs or patronized like bunny rabbits. I don't patronize bunny rabbits. Treated like human beings? Is that what you said, little Miss Voice of a Generation? Just how do you think adults act with other adults? You think it's all just a game of doubles tennis? When teenagers complain that they want to be treated like human beings, it's usually because they are being treated like human beings. Yeah, well, I guess I picked the wrong time to be a human being. Well, you'll live. Get crucial. She dialed suicide hotlines in her diapers. You're not funny. Why don't you just sign it? No. Jealous much? Heather, why can't you just be a friend? Why are you such a mega bitch? That, that, that knife is filthy. What do you think I'm gonna do with it? Take out her tonsils? Let's just hope she's rubbing noses with Jesus. Does this turn out weak or what? Oh, I, 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 I should, should have let you take that job at the mall. It was, it was just that I, I was afraid of you coming home late at night and I. Hey, Mom, why so tense? How do I turn off the goddamn bomb, asshole? Fuck you! It's all over, JD. Help me stop it. Veronica, you look like hell. Yeah, I just got back. 